Has the score for your exam come out yet? I'm sorry, Dad. I failed again. I've been trying to improve my score, but I'm just not good enough, it seems. I'm sorry. I really am. I'm ashamed by it. Don't let it hurt you too hard. I know the exam was really hard to pass. Try to keep your head up and move on to the next challenge in life. But I feel like I've let the whole family down. It seems like I'm really good for nothing. I just want you to know that your mother and I don't think that about you. We're really proud of you and we know you'll do well one day. It's normal in life to have setbacks. You just have to pick yourself up and move on. I think I'm going to give up. I won't be taking the exam again. Give up? I thought it was your dream. It is, or it was. I've been trying for several years to pass that exam, and I failed. I think it's time to move on and find a different dream. Don't you agree? Are you sure about this? Maybe you're just being too hard on yourself. If you try again, you might just pass. You shouldn't give up like this. I believe in you. I know you can do it if you really put your mind to it. Anyway, maybe you do need a break from studying. You've really been stressing yourself recently. This weekend, we're having a family gathering. I expect to see you there. You can use this time to relieve your stress. Do I have to go? I don't know if I can face people. Of course you have to come. How can you miss a family event? It'll be good for you. You can come and eat and drink, talk with your family. We've not seen you for a while, so it'll be nice to catch up. Thanks, Dad. It's nice to know that you believe in me. I won't let you down. I'm gonna get through this. No matter how long it takes, I'll get there in the end. Also, contact Julie and get her to come over too. You two get on so well. It'll be nice to see the two of you again. Julie? Yeah, contact her and tell her to come along too. Okay, Dad, I'll do that. Hey, Julie, how are you? I've not seen you in a while. I hope everything is going okay. Hi, I'm good. What about you? Dad wanted me to contact you and invite you to a family gathering this weekend. He said it would be nice if you came along too. What do you think? This weekend? I'm a little bit busy this weekend. You can't be that busy. Why don't you make some time to see your family? You know my husband sells luxury cars. He's busy and I'm often busy too. It's a hectic life for us too. Oh yeah? I didn't think of that. How was your exam this time? Did you pass? I know you've been trying for a long time. I was really hoping you'd make it this time. Sadly, I don't have good news to share with you. I failed again. It's becoming quite a routine for me, failing every time. I'm heartbroken to be honest. Oh no. How many years has it been now? It seems like you've been trying for ages and you never win. At least you are determined. Many people would have given up by now. Have you ever thought of going down a different path in life? Maybe that road just isn't for you. I know, I've thought about it a lot too myself, but I just feel like this is what I want to do. I really don't want to give up on my dream. Don't you worry you're wasting your time? You've been trying over and over for so long. Isn't it time to give up? Have you thought about working as a builder or something like that? You can get a lot of money these days, and I'm sure your parents would be happy if you did something like that. You don't have to do an academic job if it doesn't suit you. I think I'm going to try one last time, and if I fail, then I'll think about other options. Well, if you insist, then go for it. But remember, studying isn't everything. You have a nice life without being academically gifted. Look at my husband. He's selling cars and he makes a lot of cash. He didn't go to university, but he's still doing well for himself. Maybe you should try to do something similar. I think it's better than wasting your time trying to pass these exams. I know what you're saying, but I just feel like this is what I want to do. I feel like I was born to do this. But I understand what you're saying. If I fail again, then I'll have to consider other options. Hey, this weekend my family is having a gathering. Do you have free time? You want to go and meet them? This weekend? It would be nice to go and see everyone. I've not seen them in a long time. Do you remember my brother? He'll be there too. Which one? 
You remember the guy who was studying for all the exams? Oh, yeah, I remember him. He came to the wedding, didn't he? I think I met him there. Uh, what about him? It was him who contacted me and told me about the family meeting. He asked me to come along. It's going to be hard on him to show his face at the family gathering. Why's that? He failed his exams again. He's been trying for so long now and he still hasn't had any luck. I really feel for him. He's getting older and older and it just seems that he doesn't have the capability to pass that exam. I've tried to encourage him to do something else, but he says he wants to continue on that path. I thought that he went to a good university. Yeah, and that's exactly why he feels so much pressure. I think that's why he keeps trying. He doesn't want to let his family down. I think there's too much pressure on him, to be honest. Maybe he should change. Living at home with his parents and not having a job? He's too old for that. He needs to get out there and get a job, no matter what kind of job it is. I agree, but he was boasting about it many years ago, saying that he'd go to a good university and get a great job. It was kind of arrogant of him, and now look where he is. It's difficult to admit defeat when you put so much into it. It's time for him to grow up, I think. I would never dream of doing such a thing to my parents. A man should get out there and work as soon as possible. You can't just stay at home living off your parents. It might be tough for young people these days, but it's still no excuse. I did actually mention you as an example. You didn't go to university, but you still got a good job and did well. I tried to encourage him to follow your example, but I don't think he will do. I even told him that you deal in luxury cars. You think he believed me? Luxury cars? I'm only selling second-hand cars. Uh, why did you say that? I just wanted to get back at them for all the boasting they used to do. Why not exaggerate a little bit? So, you think they're quite arrogant? Sometimes, they just seem to think they are better than everyone else. Oh, I see. Well, tell them I sell luxury imported cars. It might just make them jealous. Maybe they'll think more highly of you if you do that. How would they know any different? I don't think they'll find out the truth. I can't wait for this weekend. They're going to be so jealous. Hey there, where are you? Everyone has arrived already. We're just waiting for you. I'm on the way now. Don't worry, we'll be there. Just give us a little more time. I didn't realize that we had to be there right on time anyway. Isn't it okay to be a little late? Okay, sorry. I know you're usually busy. You know we live in the nice part of town. Couldn't you have booked a place closer to us? Sorry, everyone else lives on the other side of town, so we had to meet in a location that's near to them. Well, that was a bit dumb of you, wasn't it? No wonder you didn't pass that exam. Just send me the location again, please. I forgot it. I'll put it into the navigation system and we'll be there in no time. It's here. Sorry, it's a long way from where you live. Is this the place? I thought we'd be going somewhere nicer. I usually go to expensive restaurants, but I guess this will have to do. I hope I can find something I like on the menu. There's no need to brag. We chose a place that would be suitable for everyone. I think this place is good enough. When I arrive, I'll have to see for myself. I hope it isn't too low class for me. It was so nice to see you all today. I had a really good time. It is great to catch up with family, especially when you haven't seen them in so long. I just thought I'd send a little message to say thanks to you all. Is this needed? I just wanted to express my gratitude to you for coming today. Yes, it was nice to see you too. It seems you're still the little boy you always were. What do you mean, little boy? Yeah, you're still a boy. Living at home with our parents, life must be very fun and easy for you. It's like you never grew up. It's just for the time being while I'm studying for the exam. Anyway, it was also nice to see you because it's the first time since the wedding that we saw each other. That's right. I know your wife so well. We've known each other since childhood. I always wanted to see you again and we didn't get much time to talk at the wedding. I've been very busy lately, so not much time to talk to you or your family. Yes, it's nice to talk to you, but can you leave us alone now? I've got a lot of things to do, so I don't really have time for small talk. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't realize I was bothering you. It's just a bit annoying to keep going on like this. 
Sorry, I was just trying to make conversation. I didn't mean to irritate you. Maybe you should just leave us grown-ups alone. We have some important things to do. I thought we were about the same age. I didn't think it would annoy you if I just contacted you to say how happy I was to meet you. You've done that already today. Don't you realize our time is precious? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Well, maybe you should start to think differently. Maybe you don't quite understand the ways of the world yet. It's probably because you still live with your parents. Maybe you need to get out and gain some life experience. Then you'd understand the correct way to behave and why you shouldn't bother people with pointless conversation. I can't believe you're being like this. I only wanted to say thanks. You know my husband is busy with his luxury car business. He doesn't have time to talk to you. Maybe you should just leave us be and go back to focusing on that exam you need to pass. That's right. Are you two trying to make me angry? Are you doing this deliberately? I know I failed the exam and I know I'm living with my parents, but what harm did it do to you? Why would you be so upset by it? As far as I'm concerned, it's between me and my parents. It is none of your business. You're right. It hasn't hurt us. But you're nearly the same age as my husband and look what he's doing with his life. It's only natural that we look down on you a little bit. It's also a bit annoying when someone keeps pestering you. From now on, I won't speak to you two ever again. Sorry. Maybe you should do something useful with your life first and then come and talk to us. Where are you? It's getting quite late and you still haven't come home. I'm starting to worry about you. Hey, Dad. Uh, I'm just having a drink. You're drinking? I thought you'd be studying or meeting your friends. Why are you drinking? I just came out to have a little drink by myself. Don't worry, I haven't drank that much. I just wanted to be alone and think. What's wrong? Is there something on your mind? I can't continue studying. I can't continue my life like this. I think it's time to call it quits. I tried so hard, but I didn't get there, and I just get the feeling I'm wasting my time. I think it's time to move on in life and find a new dream. Why do you think like this all of a sudden? Did someone say something to you? No, it's not that. You seemed so determined last time we spoke, and now this? What changed? Dad, I'm over 30, and I still live off my parents. Don't you think it's something to be ashamed of? Shouldn't a man be able to look after himself? Who thinks that? Don't let other people's insults get you down. Sometimes you have to go through hell to get to a good place. It's not just what other people think. I've even started to think like this myself. In the past, I just felt that I had to keep going on no matter what. But now, I'm not so sure. Maybe this whole thing was just one big mistake. Maybe I just wasted my time. I feel so stupid, to be honest. If only I could go back in time and make a different decision, things would be better. There is nothing to be ashamed of. You know your mother and I would never say or think such things. We know it's difficult for you, so that's why we support you 100%. Thanks, Dad. I know you'll always love and support me no matter what. But what if we're just fooling ourselves? What if I never pass that exam? What if I wake up on my 40th birthday and I'm still living at home with you? So much of my life would have gone by chasing a dream that just wasn't meant to be. At some point, you just have to call it quits and move on. There will be other dreams to follow. Was it your sister? Did they upset you or say something? No, don't listen to them. They're just trying to drag you down. They're worried you'll do better than them, so they're trying to put you off your dreams. I contacted them after the meal to say thank you, and they were so rude to me. It seems they really looked down on me because of my situation. They said some insulting things, but maybe they were right. Maybe I should take their insults as a hint to get on with my life. Maybe they're right. They were rude? What did they say? They said that I was a little boy and a loser. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, how dare they say that? How dare they? They've really crossed the line this time, and I'm not happy about it. Being disrespectful to my son, who do they think they are? Don't let it bother you, Dad. You can just ignore them. It doesn't hurt that much, but I do think they might be right about what they said. 
I don't want it to upset you. The last thing I want is to add to your stress. I feel like I've already caused enough stress for you, and I don't want to add to it. I just can't accept that they would use a family gathering to insult you. It should be a time to get together and enjoy each other's company. We should support each other through good and bad, not mock and insult each other. They should learn to be more respectful. I need to talk to you. What is it? I'm here. Hey, I'm here too. What did you say to Dennis? Did you insult him? I contacted him and he was out drinking on his own. He said that he was depressed about his life, and then he told me that you two had been talking down to him. He said that you called him a child and said he was a loser. Is this right? Did he tell you about this? We didn't do that. We just gave him some polite advice on his life, that's all. Do you think that he's maybe exaggerating things? Why should I believe you? Why do you have to take his side? Why don't you believe us? If we had said something nasty to him, then I'd admit to it, but we didn't. I felt that he was a little bit rude to us, not the other way around. I'm not so sure about that. I know him very well, and I know he'd never be rude to someone. He's not in a great position right now, and I was expecting that some people might be cruel to him. However, I was not expecting it to be people in our family. You should support family members, not insult them. You've really crossed the line with this. I am not happy about it one bit. Are you sure he's doing the right thing in life? Still living at home with his parents? Maybe he just took our advice badly, but I think we were being nice. My husband is a luxury car dealer while Dennis lives at home. Don't you think he should do something more productive with his life? Has it ever crossed your mind that we don't need your advice? Maybe you should mind your own business. How he lives his life is his business and no one else's. I want you to apologize to him as soon as possible. I don't care what you think about his situation, say sorry. If you don't apologize, then there will be problems for all of us in the future. Oh my gosh, why does he have to be like this? Don't you think he's gone too far? It's not our fault that he keeps failing his exams. What should we do? I'm really not sure. Are you trying to cause trouble? What did you say to Dad? What do you mean? Dad contacted us and told us that you said we had been rude to you. He said we upset you really badly. We tried to tell him we were just providing you with some useful life advice, but he didn't listen. It seems he really believes everything you say. Then he demanded that we say sorry to you. He told us if we didn't, there would be trouble. I can't believe that you would go to dad and say terrible things about us, especially when we were trying to help you. I might have had a conversation with him about that. What's the problem? I spoke to you after the meal and you were really unpleasant to me. I was just trying to thank you and you were rude and spoke down to me. I didn't make a big deal out of it. I just accepted what you said. I told my dad about it, and he was really unhappy. I tried to tell him to let it go, but he wouldn't. He told me how family members should be nice to each other. Maybe he was right. Oh, I think that's a bit unfair on us. Maybe we could have been nicer to you, but at the same time, you need to take our advice. We are more experienced than you. Our advice will only help you in the long run. I only contacted you to send my warm wishes, and you reacted so badly. I was hurt that day. It really upset me. I even started drinking again to try and forget about things. I know I'm not doing so well in life, but there is no need to rub my face in the mud. I think you twisted what we said. What exactly did you say to Dad? He was so mad at us. You should have done a better job of explaining it to Dad. That way we wouldn't be in this awkward situation. What if Dad doesn't forgive us? It might cause so many problems in the family. Also, you used to talk down to me when we were younger. When did I do that? I don't remember talking down to anyone. I've heard you used to have a bad attitude, always thinking that one day you were going to be successful. I hope now you've changed your mind. You're not really doing very well in life, are you? Yeah. Think how much money my husband earns and then compare it to yourself. 
There's no way we'd be living at home with our parents at your age. We've got a nice house and we live in a nice location and it's all because of my husband's hard work. If you want something in life, you have to go out there and get it. You can't just stay at home learning for exams that you're never going to pass. You might live in a nice area, but it's not exactly the biggest of houses, is it? Don't talk like you're super successful because I know you aren't. Yes, you might have a better economic situation than me, but it's not so good that you can lecture other people. Are you talking back to me again? Who are you to talk back to me? You have nothing in life, so drop the attitude. We have a good life. Better than you. If I'm being honest, I'm not really sorry about what I said to you. I think it was fair. I think it's what you need, to be honest. I think Dad is protecting you too much. Just think, even if you do pass these exams and then go on to get a good job, how would you survive in the real world? You don't have the experience of dealing with people and you clearly can't look after yourself. It's not just about getting good scores on exams, there are other skills that you need to learn too. I don't think that you could have learned them sitting at home in your parents' house all day. Yeah, you should treat the two of us with more respect. I don't care what Dad says. So, you're not going to apologize to me? That is fine, but I won't lie to my dad when he asks me about it. He might be really angry again. If he wants to get angry, then what can we do? Why should we do what you say? You are not one of my customers. I don't have to listen to you. I guess we won't come to any kind of compromise here, will we? If you can't see what you've done wrong and you refuse to apologize to me, then I guess we won't need to talk again. I don't want to have anything to do with people like you. You're very unpleasant people, you know that? I don't need this kind of treatment in my life, so please, don't contact me again. One day you'll see how wrong you were about me, and you'll both apologize. Trust me, it'll happen. You're going to prove us wrong? Good luck with that. I'll believe it when I see it. You're a useless person and you're never going to get anything done in life. You've had all this time already. What makes you think things are going to change now? You're just a stupid boy and a dreamer. I agree. You can barely afford to feed yourself. How could you become a success now? I think it's too late for you. You should have taken our advice sooner. You're already old and you still haven't passed that exam. You think you're going to pass now? I don't. I agree. No hope. I've spent too much money on the card again. I can't pay it off in time. The card is going to be cancelled and we need to pay off the debt as quickly as we can. The interest rate is really high and it's going to cost a lot of money. Again? Do you have to spend so much money? Didn't you learn from last time? Oh, my business hasn't been doing so well recently. I don't have that much cash in the bank. People just aren't buying cars like they used to. Oh, how are we going to pay for this? No one is buying the cars? What's going on? I don't know what's wrong with them. Maybe they've got not enough money to buy. Things are bad for a lot of people right now, so it seems the car market has slowed down. There's not a lot I can do but just keep trying to find buyers. This is really bad for us. I'm trying my best. What about the credit card debt? Can you pay it for me? Why should I pay it again? You're the one who overspent. Why didn't you ask your father to pay for it? Dad, are you there? I'm in a bit of trouble and I'm hoping you can help me out. Are you going to ask to borrow money again? Don't even think about it. You need to learn to manage your money and look after yourself. I am not a bank. Dad, please, just this one time. I know it may have happened before, but this will be the last time, I promise. Not a chance. You say that every time. Anyway, you can talk to me about it at the next family gathering. I might be in a better mood then. We're going to have a meal in a restaurant next week, so make time for it. I expect you to be there. Which restaurant? We're going to Joe's place. Wow, that place is expensive. Why are we going there? Is it a special occasion? We have something to celebrate. Celebrate? What do we have to celebrate? Did you win the lottery? That would be nice. You can share some of the money with me. No, I didn't win the lottery. Your brother passed his exam at long last and we are going to celebrate that. 
He's being sponsored by a bit tech company, and then once he's finished his course, he'll go on and work there. He's going to have a really great job. Oh, I am so proud of him. He passed his exams? Really? I didn't think he'd ever do it. When did it happen? It was a while ago now, but we've only just found time to celebrate. If you hadn't fallen out with him, then you'd probably know too. I don't know why you just can't get along. If only you would have said sorry that time, things would be much better now. I don't care about it now. If you want to be like that, then you be like that. I'm just proud my son is finally getting where he deserves to be in life. It might have taken a long time, but I knew that he would get there in the end. He's going to get paid well at this tech company, but I think it was worth the wait. Maybe at the dinner you can find the time to say sorry to him? Hey! Something big happened. You aren't going to believe it! What is it? Did you get money from your dad? If he doesn't give you that money, then we are in real trouble. Tell me some good news. No, it's not that. It's about Dennis. What is it? Is he still trying to pass that exam? We have been telling him for so long that he's wasting his time. Has he decided to change his mind or is he still studying? No, he passed and he got some kind of backing from a big tech company. My dad said that after he finishes his studies, he's going to be working at that company. He's going to be making a lot of money according to my dad. No way. Seriously? I was surprised too. I can't believe it. He's going to be earning more than us. Can you believe it? Maybe he could pay off your debt. Yeah, but he hates us, don't you remember? We're not even talking. What if we say sorry? If we give him a big apology and admit we were wrong, then maybe he'll let us back into his life. It's never too late to say sorry. Uh, what do you think? You think that'll work? What if he doesn't forgive us for the way we spoke to him? He was really upset that time. He might not forgive us. I remember he was always fond of you. He said he really liked you when you were young. Maybe he'll find it in his heart to forgive you. Oh, I certainly hope so. Okay, we can try. Maybe it will work. Maybe he won't see us as being such terrible people. I think it's worth a try. How else are we going to pay off this credit card debt? Hey, Dennis. How are you? How have you been? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. We've been thinking about you. What do you want? Why are you contacting me? I spoke with Dad. He told me you passed the exam. I'm really happy for you. Why didn't you contact us and tell us the good news? Dad says that we're going to have a get-together and celebrate. It's going to be fun. I've not seen you in so long. It'll be nice to catch up. I also want to take the time to congratulate you. You've really proved us wrong by doing what you did. I guess you had the right idea all along. You want to congratulate me? Oh, how thoughtful of you. Yes, you've done so well. I'm so proud of you. You've really done well and that is amazing. Is this some kind of joke? I told you to never talk to me again. You didn't support me during the bad times, so why would I want to talk to you now? Is there something else going on here? What are you after? No, we just wanted to talk. Actually, there was something. Now that you're heading for a good career, you're going to get paid well, aren't you? Have you thought about buying one of the cars that my husband is selling? I presume you'll be wanting to buy a car when you have more money. I have a lot of cars, and I'm sure we can find one that satisfies your needs. I'm not really interested in buying a car right now. Maybe in the future, and I might just go to a car dealership and buy a new one. I have a Mercedes A-Class that no one is buying, and maybe you'd be interested. An A-Class? Is that a joke? I'd get a nicer one than that. And by the way, why are these cars not selling? Is your business struggling? No, of course not. Business is good. Uh, sorry, I don't know if your cars are going to be good enough for me. You'll have to find another buyer. I've already got plans to buy a Tesla. What? A Tesla? How much money are you going to be earning? The starting salary is quite high and it's a stable job, so I don't need to worry about the cost. I can buy whatever I want. So I think I'll go with a Tesla. I've always wanted one and it suits me as a tech worker. 
I want to buy something that suits my social status. I don't think your cars are good enough for me. Are you trying to be rude to us right now? Again? You always do this! Just because you're going to work for a good company doesn't mean you're better than us. Remember that. Yeah, please don't be rude. You should give us more respect. Respect? Who are you to talk about giving people respect? Don't you remember all the cruel things that you said to me? Now you phone me up and expect me to become a customer for your business? There is no way that I'm doing that. By the way, I know what you really want. Dad told me you're having some money problems. He told me that you've got some credit card debts that you can't afford to pay off. Do you expect me to buy a car from you to help you make some money? I was actually expecting you to just ask for money, but it seems you're trying to be clever. I guess you know that I would say no to that. Please understand that we are no longer on the same level. I don't have to help you. You didn't even help me when I needed it the most, and now you phone me up wanting money? There is no going back. You can't take back what you said to me. I'll always remember it for the rest of my life. I'm sorry about that time. I really am. Can't you accept my apology? No, oh, me too. I'm sorry. We want to express our deepest regret about how we treated you. I can't accept that. You don't mean it. You're only apologizing to me because you want something from me. I am not going to fall for it. Leave me alone. I didn't even talk to them at the family gathering. Why should I? I just left them alone and they didn't bother me either. I think they knew there was no use in trying. I heard that a short while later they broke up. It seems that the financial pressures were too much for them. She spent too much money and he couldn't afford to pay for it. In the end, they went their separate ways. I suppose they might learn a lesson. Don't put people down when they're struggling and certainly don't ask for their help in the future. Did they really expect me to fall for that? <laughs> what a joke. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.